This is non-calculator question number 14. College board gives us an equation for an exponential function shifted up by 1 and asks with f as defined, which is the graph of negative f of x. If you already know the graph of an exponential, you may know that it shapes something like this. If we shift it up by 1, then it would be the pink graph here. And the negative of that reflects over the x-axis to look something like this which is not choice A and not choice B. It's not choice D because when we reflect it, it will not go through the x-axis, so it has to be choice C. If you can't do that just from sketching graphs, you can make a table of values. Let's make a column for x, f of x, and negative f of x. So with x equals 0, f of x is 2 to the 0 plus 1. 2 to the 0 is 1, so f of x is 1 plus 1 is 2. And negative x, f of x would be negative 2. Choice A does not go through the y-axis at negative 2. And the y-axis is where you should be when x is 0. Choice B goes through the y-axis at negative 1, so that's not correct. Choice C does go through there, and choice D goes through at negative 1, not negative 2. So choice C is the only one that matches at x equals 0. I could put in x equals 1. 2 to the 1 is 2, plus 1 is 3. And then the negative of 3 would be negative 3. And that looks about where we went here within the artistic capabilities of the person who drew it, which would be me. If you're familiar with the graphs, you can go by a sketch. If you're not, make a table of values. If College Board is asking in our non-calculator section, it should be something that you would be capable of graphing by finding a table of values. Come back soon for my next math video. With math, there's always more.